Hey guys, I'm back with my all-time favorite doubles team. And I love how this guy represents OUs. Okay. Alright, well, this is not going to be easy. As we may already see this. This is not going to be easy at all. Alright. Um, see, it's Evan and Lucario's coming out. So, ah, oh, shoot. This is better for that. Um... Would I need the barrier fable is my main question, actually. Oh, shoot. Um, well, there's always crud. Just realized that. Um, no. Let's go with this fable, this fable. I'm going to need either physical. Yeah, I'm going to need the physical one just for that Vaporeon. I need it. I can't use the wall one because, unfortunately, Bronzong prevents it from doing anything. Because who I see coming out are Vaporeon, Bronzong, Infernape, and Lucario. I can see it coming. There's Infernape. Oh, never mind. Okay, so we got something different. Alright, again, this isn't going to be... Follow me? This is a Trick Room team? What? Well, this is interesting. So, what does Clefable have? A Focus Sash. Sure, why not? And now Psychic. I didn't expect that Lucario to come out. That's a very interesting one. Calm Mind. So, what was the reason for that? Huh. I'm very... Very intrigued at the moment. This is still a very interesting thing I'm running into. Alright, so I'm gonna call back this Clefable. This will be my Specs Fable. I'm definitely going to need it later. Let's send out this one. Let's see what he's going to do. Follow me again? Wow. Okay. I'm just going to get the flame warm back and give him an item that just isn't going to work. No problem. So that means Bronzon is going to continuously do... Bronzon is going to continuously do Calm Mind. I'm afraid where this is going. I mean, luckily I technically have something against it, but I'm still afraid of it. Alright. It's okay. Clefable doesn't get affected, luckily. Alright, so I'm assuming Lucario's gonna do it again. So, because of that, I'm actually gonna have a little bit of fun. First off, I'm gonna let Bronzong target the burnt-up Clefable. I don't know what it's gonna do afterwards. But I'm going to do Metronome. Just to see what I can do. Well, that didn't do much. Alright, no problem. Although flinching Bronzong would have probably been pretty cool. If it didn't do follow me. Okay, so Lucario's out. And Bronzong is still continuously raising its stats. Again, this is not going to be easy. That means I should have done at least Metronome with the other one. It's okay. Let's see what he's going to pull out then. Of course. Alright. Infernape. Assist? Whoa, this is pretty cool. I've never seen this. Air Cutter. Wow, that is, that's impressive. So this guy's actually being strategic with his OUs. I actually like this. Alright. Icy Wind was definitely to get Infernape speed dropped. Because obviously it's a threat. It probably did assist just in case of any focus sashes. But speaking of focus sashes. Oh wait, I don't have it anymore. Never mind. I'm just going to burn bronze on. What do I have with Clefable? Leftovers. So that's good. Instead of it raising its HP, I'll just be dropping it. Even though the Calm Mind is going to still annoy the daylights out of me at the moment. Alright, so Clefable will actually restore health and Bronzong will get its behind burnt. No problem. Alright, so first off, I want everyone to go towards this Clefable. You know, I might need it for another strategy. I, I just don't want to take any risk. So Inferno goes with assist again. Let's see what it's going to do this time. Again? Because of Air Cutter, I'm assuming Salamence is in the squad at the moment. Life Orb Clefable. Gotta love it. Tell me Paralysis gets kicked in. Aww. Now this is where Bronzong 
becomes a massive beast. This is not going to be easy. Not at all. So let's see how we're going to pull this off. Definitely, uh, the physical fable, I'm not sure. I don't want to use it yet. Alright, here goes. Alright, Infernape with Assistic. Oh, never mind. He went with Overheat. Alright, sure. Definitely wanted Blaze to get activated. So now with my, my Clefable, I go with Flamethrower. Yes! Oh, man. That critical was so needed. Oh, man. I feel bad for my opponent now because, you know, evidently he took that much time to set up. He was expecting to just sweep with that bronze on. That stinks. And the only reason why I did Ice Beam with the Specs Fable is, duh, I'm expecting Salamence. Why else did Inferno do, you know, do Air Cutter? But that's crazy. If it weren't for that critical, I might have lost this match. Oh, man. That's crazy. So now Salamence has to decide who to attack. Regardless, I have something against it with each one of... Each and every one of these. He went with Heat Wave. Just in hopes of knocking my Pokemon down. Jeez, critical hits are flying. Well, regardless, it's over. That This is a crazy match, though. I personally enjoyed it. This is an awesome match. Dang, this guy actually showed some strategy, so I'm very, I'm very happy to have faced him. Very happy. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as this is my last PBR video until black and white.